Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Crusader Kings 3, a new grand strategy game out by the folks at Paradox Development Studios and published by Paradox Interactive. This is the sequel to the classic Crusader Kings 2, uh, and this is taken from a live stream on my Twitch channel from a couple of weeks ago. We are playing as the Kingdom of Armenia, we are trying to build the Kingdom of Georgia, and we're currently in the middle of a war uh, conquering some territories in what I believe is modern-day Azerbaijan. Uh, we just won a decisive battle against an enemy army that is on the whole larger than us, but we were able to isolate an enemy at detachment and have them attack me, uh, and we nearly wiped them out with almost no losses. Our general is a level 26 marshal. He is an amazing commander, but he's also over 90 years old, so he's, he's Grandpa General, Grandpa Napoleon. Uh, that's where we're picking things up right now, just coming off the heels of a major victory that may tilt the bat the war in our favor, and we'll see how things play out here. I'll catch you guys at the end. Please leave your thoughts down below. Again, this was taken from a live stream from my Twitch channel, uh, so there's a lot of interaction and back and forth with the audience, uh, but I'm curious to hear what all of you think about this and about our general who's now wounded and not in the best of health. Back in my day, kings would lead their own armies. <laughs> Hey, listen, I'm not a good marshal, okay? You know the Byzantine emperors pretty much never took the field, personally. Because if they left Constantinople, there was almost a, there was there was almost a certainty that someone would start a would start a plot to to remove them from power. And so anytime the emperor left the capital, it was basically asking to uh to lose their crown. All right, I don't know why our other ally, whoop, why are those allied armies are going that way. My queen, my queen is pregnant again, so that's good. I guess maybe they're gonna go try and take some territory. I don't like the idea of splitting our armies up, but that the fact that we um, we inflicted seventeen hundred casualties on them likely will even things out a lot in this war. So you can see their total strength is down to fifteen hundred. Even if you include the fifteen hundred mercenaries they had, they're Badly outnumbered. No, people didn't drop dead at 35. 90 would be a pretty rare sight, though. What county am I trying to convert? Well, I don't want to convert counties out of orthodoxy. That's not what I want to do at all. All right. Allied armies are all down here. This is all enemy ter territory. Meanwhile, my army is probably going the wrong direction. Child benefits from tutelage. Reverse egg roll. Thanks for the follow. We're fighting the enemy. They have 700 more soldiers than we do. My marshal of 31 is still commanding. That was... I didn't realize there were that many soldiers there. This is not good. This is probably a defeat. We're getting positive rolls, but... They've just got too many men. Yeah. The debt penalty, I think, is what did it for us. So we lost that battle badly. 1,200 casualties. They lost 400 more. So we'll retreat to our capital. I'm hoping my allied armies will, you know, stick around. Marshall impresses Vassal. Which Marshall? No shit, he impressed my Vassal. Dude's 90 and he's a badass. Of course he impressed my Vassal. Hey, allies, can you go fight these guys? What are you even doing down here? Let's go link up. 3,200 soldiers here. Let's go link up and fight these guys again. 
Once more into the breach, my friend. I have no one in the dungeons for, uh... for ransoming at this time. But my allied army should help us win, even, even so. Phalic Blue Lake? You mean the Caspian Sea? Is that what you're talking about? It is a real thing. My allies are going to go fight on their own? Okay. You will lose decisively. Not if my allied armies show up. I sure hope they show up. Oh, shit. Well, they pulled back from their siege in any event. All right, now they're coming back for their siege. We'll let them go there. Then we'll see if we can catch them before they get on their boats. Doesn't look like we will. Oh, we might catch them now, though. I just have to hope my ally... Okay, good. So these allies are going in here. So we arrived first, but my allies should be here hopefully. There they are. Allies have arrived. My 33, 90-year-old marshal is still commanding, by the way. We're losing slightly by the looks of this, but we've got like 3,000 soldiers in the neighboring hex, guys. How about you show up? All right, 1,400 more are coming in. My injured friend. He's a best friend. We're best friends. Hey, allies, are you almost here? This thing's way too close for comfort. Okay, now they arrived. Another 1,200 soldiers arrived. So this should tilt the, th the, the war decisively in our favor. A daughter. We have a daughter. We'll name her after my, my wife. Okay, so we should defeat these guys easily. They were at 1,500, so they're still not. All right, so the pursuit phase will kick in. I don't know that we have a ton of cavalry to pursue with, but hopefully we inflict some serious casualties on them there. 900 for them, 700 for us. Oh, no. My best friend has gangrene. All right, so we lost some... Well, there's another battle being fought down here? Where are they fighting? This isn't part of our war, is it? Are they just fighting random... random folks? Random raiders? All right, I hope my, my allies follow me here. Please follow me, allies. They are. Oh, shit. Um, I think these are just raiders also. Let's try and move into this county to take that city. I hope my allies follow me, please. My marshal has died. My 90-year-old marshal. No! Oh. 
The person who I uh, got out of jail. You are my new marshal. Eliz, Countess Eliz. Okay. Looks like the enemy's pulling back to C. All right, let's take this. Why are my alley? Just stay here and take this this base here with me. We need to... What is this? Why are my allies leaving this fight? We'll lose decisively. What is going on? Oh, shit. One, I don't have a commander. No, my allies don't join me in the... I'm getting hit by raiders? I'm so confused. What is going on? Do they all do all the armies fight individually? So just a random raiding army showed up and crushed us. That's good. One commander just died. We lost a thousand men there. But it wasn't even part of our war. <sighs> Why am I not allowed to select a... Now they're besieging it with 1,600 troops. Where did my allies go? They got crushed pretty bad too. I think we'll just take a white piece. Just to end the war. Counselor died. Yeah, I mean, we... Hey, my wife's pregnant again. If you could control your allied armies, that would have been an easy win. Okay... Yeah, if I could if I had total control over my armies, that would have been an easy victory. He's a powerful vassal, he wants a spot and he's a good he's my best option, so we'll put him on the council there. Okay. We've kind of stopped developing our our primary holding now due to uh Working on converting people to our culture. I need more knights, by the way. But I also need to replace the soldiers that we lost in the most recent war. Anyway. Um, ri written in the stars, a million miles away. Prince, a princess, a princess to scare a local mystic with dubious morals and a fabricated omen. Perfect. Before the mist, I thought the murder plot failed. 
Oh, I've got a 5% chance of success. I need to cancel this thing. A secret is exposed. Although there's no way to conclusively prove it, Count Nippon Orid has been has brought forward evidence that Bagrat is not my son. What? No. No. My son and heir? He has to be my son. My wife loves me. She wouldn't have slept with anyone else. She's my soulmate. Although I guess she did get pregnant before we fell in love. My steward, Lord Mayor Vosh. He's a plus 32. He doesn't hate me. Where does it say she's an adulterer? Oh, no. I didn't see that trait. <laughs> uh... You're sleeping with him, aren't you? I almost wish I never knew. What do I even do? I mean, he's my heir. Do I lose him as my heir? La 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 la, can't hear you. La 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 la. Well, on that note. Disputed heritage. Minus one diplomacy, minus ten house opinion. Credible rumors surrounding Bagrat's heritage. Many say that his father is someone else. I feel bad for him. Yeah, very good. I I mean, I don't know. There should be some ability to to coordinate, I feel like, even if I don't directly control them. I'm going to imprison this guy. Thanks for the follow fin streak. Let's see if he accepts. It's a very low percentage chance. Oh, fuck, now what? Lord Mayor Vash is declaring war on me. It seems that there's no recourse for our dispute other than to settle it on the battlefield. He's attacking me. What an idiot. Rally the troops, my lads. Def a war against the tyranny of me? I'm not a tyrant. I'm rightfully imprisoning you, you asshat. You're just trying to take advantage of... Oh, shit. Of the situation here. Um, I can convert back to orthodoxy? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I'm so fickle with my faith. I've switched religions twice. Where's the Lord Mayor Vosh? He's over here. Let's not engage the... Uh, the raiders, I don't think they're actually at, at war with me. Rocky Mountain Games, thanks for the follow. All right, we're trying to, to go to war here. Or not trying to go to war, but... I don't want to call her to war if I don't have to. She's on the other side of the map. 
Wetlands. I'm in debt, so that'll give me a penalty. Chances are even. Do we have any better commanders? Pause. Other than other than that guy, do we have anybody else who would be a better commander? Put me in charge. I don't want to go into that. Oh, shit. I can't undo it now. Well, I'm going into the wetlands. That was dumb. Is this my friend? My friend died. Well, we outnumber them almost two to one, but they've got the better terrain. We've got the slightly better commander. Both sides have the same number of knights. He's getting the better ro rolls, but the advantage in numbers is with me. Meanwhile, one I really need a court physician. All of these knights of mine keep getting hurt. Without a court physician, it's very difficult to, like, make sure they don't end up dying eventually. So it looks like we're going to win this thing, but not by much. It may be a bit of a Pyrrhic victory. We've got to go... Can we even take this castle? He's so weak now in terms of manpower that we should be able to crush him in any future battle. We're also gaining some re uh, reinforcements. Yours truly is commanding the army in the field. We'll move forward to besiege the grand city of Mugden. Hopefully we have enough manpower to do it. It's a level 2 castle, 500 troops. I think we should have enough. And I don't think his 260 soldiers is going to be enough to besiege any castle himself. I have another son! We'll name him after Ashot, who was the son who murdered another one of my sons. <laughs> or do you? I don't know. Is he my son? Is he someone else's son? I thought we were truly in love. Alright, the siege is going well. So if I win this battle, do I, can I take this territory for myself? The Grand City? Can I put it under my dominion? I'm hoping. You still think it's lies? I mean, it could be. She is truly in love with me, so hopefully she wouldn't do that to me. Maybe she found, maybe she was upset that I was uh, accepting advances from my cousin. We didn't. Nothing happened, of course, but she doesn't necessarily know that. Yeah, I literally just fought a war to hold on to this territory. To be fair, though, I was trying to arrest the guy. Because he was, I'm claiming he was coming up with lies about my son, but there's no way to know. Alright, so we won the siege. I gained dread, I imprisoned the Lord Mayor. You are in prison, you asshat. So we win the war. We're still in debt, by the way. He's in prison. I could ransom him for 50 gold, which would put me back in the black.
I don't think I can rant, gr revoke his title any longer because I'm no longer the dynasty head. Lord Mayor Vosh. I have something in mind for you. I'm a forgiving man. I have it'll give me 45 stress, but I can spare the stress. You have been castrated, sir. <laughs> Look at his face here. The jailer drags a panicked Lord Mayor Vosh into the room. Please, I will do any... I don't know why he sounds like that. I will do anything. Anything you want. The jailer gags him and ties him down on the table. This might seem barbaric, as I say to the physician... Uh, I say as the, phar the physician prepares his tools. But this is for the stability of the realm. Trust me, I take no pleasure in your suffering. Oh, do I release him after I castrate him? So, the mayor doesn't like me very much. I have a 95% chance of successfully murdering him, so we're going to do that. So we castrated him, and now we'll hunt him down and murder him. Well, wizard play, you may choose the castration, but now now he gets to enjoy the castration and then be murdered. It's a little bit like 1984 when they uh, when they first they torture and then brainwash the character or whatever, and then you know he's he's released briefly before he will eventually disappear and, and be killed. So, in any event, everybody, uh, we've been going for about two and a half hours. It is 1 o'clock a.m. my time, and I'm actually moving tomorrow, so I've got to be up in, a co in like six hours uh, to start the moving process. I will probably not be on tomorrow because of that, or today, depending on where you are. Um, but uh, we'll pick this up uh, probably in two or three days. So, again, not, not in the next 24 hours, but probably 48 to 72 hours whenever we get moved in and everything, everything goes well. I do want to thank everybody, all the new followers. We gained quite a few folks today. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. We'll see what happens for the Kingdom of Armenia in the future. King Ashot III has been reigning for some time now, although he's no longer the dynasty head. Um, there's four houses that have been created in the Bagratoni dynasty. Um, we're one of the cadet branches, but there are two other ones, um, both with uh, quite a few living members here, both founded in 957 AD, so they're both only four years old. Um, we're not, although, are we now the head? No, we're not. We're not the head of the, di of the, of the overall house. So you can see this is us. Um, Prince Galiza over here, I think, is one of, is one of the other houses that was founded. I wish I, or no, they're in our house. I wish I could pan. I don't, there's no option. Oh, middle mouse wheel. Okay. So this is all our house that was founded by Mayor Bagrat. But then there are sub houses that have been formed underneath us uh, by Docs Georgie and Count Vishtag. So these look like they are pretty well established and they will have uh, follow ons. Meanwhile, Docs Gorgi is the head of the house. He, uh, he has 3,200 soldiers, so he's actually more powerful than me right now. So he is the dynasty head. They're like, it's houses within our house, though. It's kind of messed up. Um, He's down there in the Byzantine Emperor, Empire, too. He's not a king, though. I am a king. I am a king! But that's where we're going to leave things off, just wrapping up that last rebellion with both a victory in, in war against traitors and castration of the leaders. Uh, with that being said, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, these excerpt, excerpts from this stream. Uh, the game's been going quite a while now. We've been going 
uh, what about a hundred years uh, since the start date. So we're we're making quite a bit of progress. I think our dynasty is doing well. Uh, King Ashut the Third is surprisingly uh, having quite a bit of success despite being somewhat of an underwhelming character. Uh, but until next time, that's where we're going to leave things. Uh, so until next time, this is the Historical Gamer, as always, saying thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I'm out.